Hey everyone, welcome to another Monday Morning Stella! Alright, brand new week, off we go. This topic is in response to the many questions that I've had lately, and it's about tough decisions. You know, people are like, should I make this decision? Should I make this decision? What should I do? I'm like, I don't know. But, I, you know, I've had to make some tough decisions myself over the last little bit. And it's not easy. But, and Jack's just getting totally wet by that rock those ways. But anyway, <laughs> it's not easy. And that's why they're tough decisions. Here's why, and I wanna help you I want to help you think about this. So if you're at a point in your life right now where you need to make some decisions that are unstabling, you know, you know it's going to make some change. Change, the reason it's so hard is because of fear and uncertainty. Because you, sometimes the hardest decisions lead to the best things. But you can't see it at that point because when you're faced with a decision, whether you go this way or this way, what do I do? And the thing is, right, there is a right decision or the best decision for your next step. There definitely is. And you can sort of tell what that is. That's the reason it's such a tricky decision because you might be in a space right now where you like, it's like life's pretty good, but you know there's another decision that's pulling you, that's calling you. And you're not going with it. You're sort of there and you're like, should I, should I, should I? But it's there and it's there and it's there. It's always there. And it's like sort of building a little bit. And when you don't go with it, it's like holding a basketball underwater and, and just trying to keep it there. It's gonna try and keep popping up and popping up and popping up. I'm not saying every one of those decisions that you feel like, should I go this way or this way, is the right way. Just go the opposite of what you're doing. Not at all. But you've got to give it some space and time. Definitely. Give it some space and time to see how long that feeling lasts because it might disappear. And if it disappears, it wasn't really the one for you. But if it's there and it's there and it's building and it's there and over the years or months or weeks or whatever, it's just there and there and there and then you can feel it. It's almost, it's almost like, like pulling you in that direction in a way and it just doesn't go away, you need to explore that. You need, you need to make a decision and go with it because I think it's a little bit like the universe's way of saying to you, there's, there's more over here. There's more over here. And why people struggle with it so much is when you have change, you have to go through an unsteady phase. You just do. It's like you've got to learn to, to live on the next space where you haven't been yet. And to get from here to here, this part here is usually unsteadying. It's change. It's making you different. It's making you think different. It's making your energy different so you can operate here. But unless you actually take the steps and go into that space and learn how to operate and live and be through that movement, you will never know. You will absolutely never know. And I think it's better to die, to die and try than die and wonder. I really do, especially if you've got that feeling inside that only you can see, feel, know. You can talk to all the people that you want for their opinion, all of them. They have no idea. They might be able to give you glimpses of what their life has been, but they can't feel what's going on inside of you. They can't see the information that you're getting, the data that you're downloading from the universe, from the energy, from the, the path that's there for you. It's your path, especially for you. No one has ever walked that path before. It's completely your path. And that impulse, that direction, that feeling, is there for a reason. And if you're getting it, and it keeps popping up, and it keeps popping up, and it keeps popping up, and you're moving through this life, and it's always there, it's always there, don't die wondering. 
you better, it's better to try than to never know. And if you're in that space right now, be brave. Be brave. Make the call, take the steps, and learn to manage your energy as it moves. And I reckon more doors are gonna open for you. I reckon there's something very exciting there for you. It's a space where you've never operated before. But sometimes you've gotta go like this to experience this. And I want you to really think about that. If design, we talk about designing your life all the time. People talk about designing your life, designing your life, designing your life. Designing things are not, designing things are hard when you can't see them, like you're creating it. If everything was so easy, if everything, everyone would have invented the iPhone, but that message got given to Steve Jobs directly. And if he never went with that, he never would have changed the world. I want you to think about that because your life is just as special, your impulses are just the same, your path is uniquely yours, and if you don't listen, you're ignoring what could be. It's there for you. Run with it. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.